majority leader. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I beg to uh, second this motion on consideration of the Senate amendments to the National Rating Bill. And as the Chair has said, Honorable Speaker, the committee has considered all the amendments and uh, they agree with the number of the amendments as uh, amended by our Senate, our colleagues in the Senate. Honorable Speaker, if you can protect me from the member for Emurua Dikir and the member for Kiamba, but the laughter was coming from the member for Dik Emurua Dikir. And you know, Honorable Speaker, these people who purport to be kingpins have a problem. <laughs> you have seen the problems that uh, we have in the Mount Kenya region because of this kingpin uh, syndrome. Uh, now the member for Emurua Dikir, who purports to be the Kipsigis kingpin, is now harassing the Honorable Kawanjiko because the Honorable Kawanjiko is able to withstand <laughs> kingpins leader, from the Mount Kenya region. We will just ask Honorable member for Emurua Dikir to keep the consultations low. That's and, it. Uh, and especially the laughter. <laughs> That's it. The laughter is choking. Honorable Speaker, I was saying when the committee uh, for lands considered these uh, amendments, they have what agreed with the number order, Honorable of uh, these amendments, Honorable Speaker. Is it on that and the amendments... Uh, hold on, Majority Leader. The Honorable majority, Kaluma, I hope the, you are the not the majority, on uh, Honorable for, Speaker, I hope you are attentive to Honorable Ichungwa, who is our Majority Leader and the Leader of the House. Honorable Speaker, did you hear Honorable Ichungwa say the Honorable MP for Emuar Dikir is purporting to be the, the kingpin? when it is something of which judicial notice can be taken, something which is acknowledged, that Honorable Joanna Ngeno is the kingpin of Rift Valley, <laughs> something which was done in public, all elders that was duly enthroned. Why should our majority leader, who is our leader, Member for Homa undermine our exploits in leadership? Honorable Kaluma, whatever flaw that was agreed on is not the flaw of this house. So majority leader, kindly focus on the bill. <laughs> Thank you, Honorable Speaker. And the Honorable Kaluma knows I said purporting because, as you rightly say, Honorable Speaker, all kingpins purport to be kingpins but are never appointed by anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Honorable Speaker, I was saying uh, the Committee for Lands has also disagreed uh, with, uh, substantially with a number of amendments. And therefore, Honorable Speaker, it would only be right that we allow the committee and this House to have a second shot at this bill and the amendments that have uh, emanated from the Senate, to agree with the Senate on the ones that they agree on, but uh, also to move the House to disagree so that we can uh, have an opportunity through the mediation process as provided for in our standing orders in the Constitution uh, for the two houses to be able to uh, have an opportunity to sit. And I'm certain our committee for lands um, or rather the members that this house may appoint in mediation without preempting debate would uh, be able to sit with our colleagues in the Senate and agree on those that are contentious and we uh, consider a mediated version of this bill, Honorable Speaker. Therefore, back to second and uh, do request the house to disagree with the amendments in the Senate so that we may cause uh, the setting up of our mediation committee. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Back to second. I therefore propose the motion that the Senate amendments to the National Rating Bill, National Assembly Bill Number 55 of 2022, be now considered. And before I give uh, the, the members to indulge on this one, just to note that if this motion is lost, then Order Number 10, Roman 1, will not happen. If it is lost, the Committee of the Whole will not happen. And Roman II had already been stepped down by the Speaker. That is the Kenya Drugs Authority Bill. So if this is passed, then we'll go on with Committee of the Whole. If not, Order Number 10 shall not be called. Member for Funula. Honorable Speaker, thank you for this opportunity to say one or two words on Senate Amendment and specifically this motion. And Honorable Speaker, I can remember very well the acrimonious way we passed this bill in this house in October last year. When together with other technical professionals in this field, we had raised some far-reaching amendments that would have enriched the bill, so to speak. And the Honorable Speaker, I'm again afraid when it went to the Senate, Senate probably also just went to bed and slept 
and fail to pick out the genesis and the gist of the bill. But never to, regardless of what has come here, that's what we have here now. We would have to pass it, then indulge in any amendments after the requisite time provided for the standing order. Honorable Speaker, I want to join the committee in rejecting some of the amendments proposed by Senate. And this, I must say, it was either done in ignorance or impunity or lack of due diligence on how rating and evaluation for rating ought to have to, to be done and the international best practices. Honorable Speaker, if you look at the Senate amendment to clause 12, it's outrightly unconstitutional. It's outrightly unconstitutional because the mandate conferred to National Land Commission and Article 67 is exclusive and cannot be shared by an amorphous body purporting to call itself Council of County Governors. It's, there is no way, probably even a body that has got a passing mention in a legislation can purport to share the mandate with the Constitutional Commission. On that, I totally agree with them, and that also applies, Honorable Speaker, to Clause 20, also applies to other clauses, Honorable Speaker. I totally agree. I also agree entirely with the committee on the proposed inclusion of at clause, new clause 24A. Honorable Speaker, you cannot purport to create an office in public service through, an, through such kind of a bill. Those positions ought to be either created under the Valuers Act or created pursuant by the amendment to the various respective acts of parliament. So I totally agree with them that that, that cannot happen. Honorable Speaker, also when you go to clause 30A, clause 30A, Honorable Speaker, from a professional practice point of view, to prepare a supplementary valuation role, there are circumstances that require the supplementary valuation role to be prepared. And Honorable Speaker, valuation as a practice is at the date of valuation. You cannot backdate a valuation. So to purport to, to insert a clause that when you are preparing a supplementary valuation role, you can only do it in, in dependent on the data or whatever is available at the time of undertaking evaluation role, then it's to miss the purpose, professional purpose, academic purpose of a supplementary evaluation role. On that, I totally also agree with them. Honorable Speaker, I also agree in ownership of property, in the proprietary right of ownership of a property, there's nothing, nobody, no, no person called an occupier. Who was an occupier? An occupier connotes an, an authorized inversion. So to purport that 